So after you have finished your syllabus, right? Uh, and I'm sure most of you are pretty okay with the topics. Like I don't think these are like very complicated things that you don't understand. You know I mean, the topics are pretty easy. But how come some students are still not scoring uh, well in the in the exam? Okay, so most of the time is because they lose valuable marks due to the inability to fully explain the question in the open-ended section part of the science paper okay so the objective of this course that you're coming here for is to help the students improve the marks right for the open-ended questions right through explaining fully explaining the question fully explaining the question and then scoring the marks okay so as you can see, uh, our workbook, right, don't have a lot of uh, notes. It's not like notes oriented, you know what I mean? I don't want to go through the notes again. I don't want to go through like, oh, what's adaptation? What is, you know, the man, the impact on the environment, all that kind of stuff, right? In fact, it is full of questions. There's so many questions. In fact, the whole thing is like questions, right? And then we will, uh, go through the exercises right, as to how to answer the questions correctly. Okay, so that's the objective. Uh, so what's the plan? Yeah, so the plan, uh, number one, is to teach students how to explain. You need to know how to explain. What do you mean by explain? You understand? Right? So how do we do that? We will go through, uh, and then after that, we'll go through numerous questions on how to fully explain. So hopefully, after going through all these questions, it become part of you. Okay, you know how to explain. Uh, and then we will also attempt questions from multiple topics. And at the same time, we can revise the science concept, right? So that's the plan for these three days. Right? All right. <clears throat> so I can explain science. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna jump straight in. So the question: How to score maximum marks for open and the questions? Okay, and I have the answer over here. The fastest, most direct way to score uh, is to understand that most open and the questions needs you to explain. So the key is explain. I'm not sure if you have seen a uh, past year paper. Have you seen the past year PSLE science paper? Like the booklet? You buy the booklet? Right. So what I'm trying to say is if you go through the stuff, if you if you just, just open to the open-ended question and take a look. Huh? Yeah, answers. Answers, yeah. You will realize that most of the questions right has got this word inside. The word explain. They want you to explain and all this explain stuff right are usually two marks okay the questions are two marks explain question so then what this means is you must be good in explaining so uh the way in which we teach you to explain right is using this technique called the start and technique you're gonna learn a technique is called the start and technique so what what does this do uh it needs you to identify the start and the end of every question which is why the name of this technique is called start and technique okay i can't think of any other more creative names so let's call it start and technique which will help you to answer every question and logically link the start to end by filling in the scientific concept. And therefore, therefore you can score two marks, the full marks, because most students, you know, sometimes uh, they, they know what's going on, but they just couldn't explain fully. So instead of scoring two marks, maybe they score like only one mark. And I think it's a waste. Okay, because, you know, instead of two, you get one, that's like half. Then where did the other half go? Fly into the sky. Huh? Fly into the sky. Yeah. Okay. So, so use the start and technique to help you to uh, score the full two marks. Okay. So I just want to give you an example. Yeah, I found Google as well. All right. How to draw this bird? Okay. So example. You see this question. Why do birds fluff up feathers 
to keep warm during winter. You see, the, the question is asking you, uh, why do birds fluff up feathers? They ask, why do birds fluff up feathers to keep warm? Or how do birds fluff up feathers to keep warm? That's question. Yeah, so, but this, uh, this is from one of the printing papers, okay? So most students, most students will just say, oh, uh, because you can keep warm, right? Or, uh, oh, it's because uh, uh, increase the amount of feather, increase volume. Okay, so that will not score you the maximum of two marks. Okay, when you this is the two marks question. Okay, so what we do is we first have to identify the start of the question. And what's the start and what's the end? Of the question. You see, at the end of the question, you have to explain how they keep warm. See that? The end is how they are kept warm. Now, the start is they fluff up feathers. You got that? So, what is the in between? So, your job is to figure out what is the in between. You see? So, let's start from birds fluff up feathers so when the birds fluff up feathers what happens the volume of air increases right they fluff up feathers right volume of air increase right so when the volume of air increase and also we know that air is a poor conductor of heat and because it is a poor conductor of heat the bird does not lose heat to the surrounding or lose less heat, should not be, does not lose it, right? so lose less heat, lose less heat to the surrounding. Okay, and because they lose less heat, therefore they are kept warm. And finally, you see, we end over here. So this whole thing, you don't write down like in point form, okay, in the answer, but what you do is you rephrase, you rephrase. Right, all these points into your answer, starting with this, going through all this, right, and then finally end with therefore they are kept warm. And I said, so in this way, you can score maximum of two marks. Now, what most students do is they 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 only like put in answers, uh, maybe the okay, let's say I call this sequence one, two, and three. So most students who score only one mark, right, uh, only manage to put like one or maybe just two. They just say, oh, air is a poor conductor of heat. Therefore, they are kept warm. Okay, but that's not true, right? Because uh, you have to explain that the bird, because the air is a poor conductor, the bird does not, or the bird loses less heat in the surrounding. And therefore, they are kept warm. You understand what I'm saying? Right, so any one of these that you miss out, right, you're not going to get the maximum of two marks. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so the purpose, once again, of the start end technique is to help you identify the start, uh, identify the end, and then you know you got to link up from the beginning all the way to the end. Okay, you cannot jump like from here, but so I thought feathers, therefore they can't walk, so stop, uh, you know, because you miss out all these things. I'm going to get the maximum mark. Okay, at this point of time, anyone have any questions that you don't understand what I'm talking about? You can repeat them again. Anyone? Delta, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what the start end technique, how it works? Okay, Amara Vera, do you understand? Do you understand what's the start end technique? We have a better name for the technique. Is that going start end technique? Creative name. I no. Right yeah, I can't think of anything. Okay, how about uh, Alex? Do you understand? Good. Okay, Joan, do you understand what I'm talking about so far? Okay, great. And Tsui, do you understand? Tsui, do you understand what I'm saying so far? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Did you go and get more cookies? Yeah, did you go and get more cookies? Alex was asking. No. Zero. No. <laughs> Okay, so that is the start end technique. I, I don't have any other fancy way or any other. This, this, this is the only thing. If you can master this, it's really good enough. You'll be able to get maximum marks, okay, for your uh, <coughs> open ended question. Okay, next I have a simple trick to help you to answer questions uh, 50% 50 faster than most students. 
I'm not sure if your school uh, go through this. Okay, so now this is one example of a question. So uh, most students, what they do is they will read from the top. Okay, which is not wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. Okay, but they read. Read, 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 read everything. Then after that, they come to the actual question. You see this red color part? This is the actual question that's being asked. Okay, but the problem is this. Uh, for a lot of students, by the time they come to here, they already forgot what's here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So what happened was, you just, I don't know, how, how long does it take for you to read from here to here and look at the picture? Two minutes? Is it about two minutes? Why, why two minutes? Not like too minute. slow. Uh. Okay, but one minute? Yeah. One minute. Okay, how much time Slightly do you less. have? Slightly less. Okay, how much time do you have per, per question like that? One mark is about one minute. Okay? If you do some computation, right? Every one mark is about one minute in your PSI size. So if you waste one minute, like read, then you come back, hey, what, what, what did I just read? You have to come back here again. Uh, you effectively wasted one minute, which you could have spent answering the question. Okay, so now this is my suggestion. Okay, take note that it's my suggestion. It's not a uh, compulsory. I'm not saying you must go and do this. No, okay, because some of you could be used to just reading everything from top to bottom. It's perfectly okay. I, I'm just saying one possible way is you start from here first. So you just take a look at this, okay? So this is about ladybird beetle bright color. How does this adaptation sound? So it's about adaptation and the ladybird beetle. And then you come to here. Oh, you see we have the ladybird beetles brightly colored. Uh, okay, this is what I mean. Okay, now this is a suggestion, right? And I, uh, uh, from my observation, I realized that it, it does help some students improve the speed at which they're asking, uh, answering the question. Okay, so this is for open ended question. That's what you can do. So how about MCQ? Same thing. <clears throat> Same thing with the MCQ. So sometimes, now this is an example of a simple MCQ. So, but sometimes MCQ questions right are like super long. Have you seen those one whole page MCQ questions? Yeah. It's a lot of pictures. Yeah, it's like uh, a lot of pictures, and then the whole thing is like one page. One page. Okay, one page means like the whole page. The question like then the final question is at the bottom. I mean there's like a lot of things and two the question at the bottom. Okay. So my suggestion is go straight to the question first. Like go straight to what they're asking about. Okay, then you go to the top. You understand? Right? So it's a it's a trick. <coughs> it's a simple trick which can help uh, improve the speed. Now, why do you need to improve the speed? It's because in the exam, right, you don't have unlimited time. You have limited time. Right now, when you're doing all your exercises and then you're doing questions, right? You have unlimited time. You know what I mean? Okay, so I do not know if you practice uh PSLA science with time limitations of time if you do i think that's great but if you do not practice with time right uh, you, you will realize that when you go in to take the actual exam the all of a sudden hey i don't have enough time no. i don't have enough time to do this no enough time to check and all that kind of stuff okay so this is one thing that you can try that you can practice okay 